close your eyes and find the breath. If the mind has been wandering around, try to give it a place to settle down for the time being. It needs this place to settle down. It's the foundation in which you can see things clearly and gain a sense of what's what and what's going on inside, what's going on outside. Because otherwise we spend our time rushing around all the time and our impressions of things just little blurs. It's like playing connect the dots. You've got a few dots here and a few dots there, and you can use a line. You can connect them in any way you want to, actually. But who knows if the way you connect things has anything to do with the way they really are. If you want to see something clearly, you have to watch it all the way from the beginning all the way to the end. In other words, you want to follow the line rather than just jumping from dot to dot and then pulling the line behind you. So stay with the breath. This is where things meet in the body and the mind. This is where your decisions are made. This is where their results are, are felt. Without the quality of the breath energy in the body, you'd have no sensation of the body at all. So it's because of the breath we know the body. It's because of the breath we can move the body. So try to be as fully aware of the breath as you can, both fully aware in the present moment, whole body, and then maintaining that as continually as you can through time. That way, whatever go happens in the mind, you'll see it. You'll be there to catch it. To try to maintain this sense of full body awareness. Once you've settled in, let it spread out. As you go through the day, there may be times when you have to let things move to a smaller point. But that's up to your powers of observation to see when it's best to have a full body awareness and when it's best to just stick with one point as you go through the day. But you want to maintain a continuity. So if at any point anyone asks you where you are, you say, I'm right here, rather than being drifting off someplace else. And John Fuang used to say, now, suppose the Buddha came up to you and asked that question, days and nights pass by, pass by, where do you be coming right now? How would you answer? Most of us would be at a loss for words. But if you're sticking with the practice, you're sticking with the breath, you say, I'm becoming a meditator. I'm becoming more mindful. I'm becoming more alert, becoming more ardent. That's the kind of answer you can give and not be embarrassed. <laughs>